Camton restricting this song, do da, do da. Camton restrict night mouth long, do da, do da, day. Do da, do all night, do da, do all day. Gonna bet me money on the bobtail nag. I did it my way. Good day, YouTubers. And good news. I have finally got my video camera back from the repair shop. And that means that's the perfect excuse to make a video. Now, if you have a quick look on the internet and on YouTube, in no time at all, you will come across countless videos offering what is in the video maker's opinion, the top list of anything. Could be films, music, TV, even probably Jubilee clip manufacturers. So not to be outdone, here is my top six things that I absolutely couldn't live without on my narrowboat. Straight in at number six is my kitchen. I love to create and I also love to cook. So a kitchen for me is absolutely essential. Here I'll knock up anything from an omelette to a beef casserole with dumplings. Delicious. Number five, my guitars. I may not be the best guitar player in the world, but when I sit down and strum a couple of chords, who knows where it will take you? Hello darkness, my old friend. Number four, my tools. Without these, I wouldn't be able to carry out any maintenance on my boat at all. And I'd end up having to pay somebody else to do it. And that would cost a fortune. Number three, my Scion 5MX. Or in this case, a clone of it which is the Ericsson MC218. Yes, it may be 23 years old, but it comes with something that you won't find on any gadget these days, and that's a proper keyboard. I will often be found quietly sat typing away, coming up with my next magnum opus. At number two is this camera and my laptop. Without these two, I wouldn't be able to earn any money, and of course there wouldn't be any Travels by Narrowboat documentaries. My camera and laptop are essential, and I definitely could not live without them. And the number one thing I need in order to live on my narrowboat is money. Quite simply, whether you live in a house, or a tent, or in a camper van, or on a boat, you just cannot live without it. And anybody who tells you otherwise is either already loaded or in denial, or both. Well, there you are. That's my top six list of the things I couldn't live without on my narrowboat. But maybe you have your own top list. So why not mention it in the comments below? Now, I'd just like to say hello to Stephen and Angela, who have been moored up nearby for the past couple of days, and especially hello to their wonderful children and their dogs and their cats, especially the little black kitten, absolutely adorable. And I was sorely tempted to keep it for myself. And I'd also like to say thank you to Angela for this wonderful gift, which is an Egyptian pagan symbol which not only wards off evil nasties but also brings you good luck thank you very much so cheers for watching and i'll see you next time